Hello and welcome to Final Show Films. Before you enjoy the following production, there's just a few things I'd like to get out of the way first. Starting off, I'd like to thank all of our patron supporters, especially our $25 tier supporters, Antitonic, Cat, Water, Flame, and Samantha Bates. If you'd like to support us, you can do so on our Patreon, patreon.com slash fsfilms, as well as by following me on Twitter, at Johnny Bates, following and subscribing to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash senstaku, on YouTube, youtube.com slash senstaku, and on any of our podcast feeds, links to which you can find on my Twitter account. Thank you once again for tuning in, and I hope you have a good time. Bye. And we're live. Hello. So everybody check and make sure we have audio. I am of course doing that. We are checking. And we do. Yay! Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars Afterlight Sky. It's where we only sometimes have technical difficulties. Look, the two people that were streaming the game cannot be here for various completely legitimate reasons. So we're yeah. improvising a little bit. Uh, but um, I am Aaron. I am your GM. And with me today is Jeremy. Hello, I am Jeremy, who is happy that this f that, that my hastily cobbled together OBS setting actually worked as intended. I am playing Corey Tane, human outlaw tech. And... There's two light side points. And yes, we will not have a Destiny counter this week because reasons. reasons. Yeah. But I got two light side. Um, Kat? I am Kat. I am playing Powder, the medical droid esque. <laughs> I got us a dark side. And Spencer? I'm Spencer. I'm playing Psy. Member of the Rebellion, and to Dark Side. All right. Now, last time on Afterlight Skies, on the gray, gloomy, the outer rim, on a gray and gloomy planet in the outer rim, um, our group of heroes managed to successfully rescue a few people. Will destroy a giant tower and kill the leader of a group of slavers, a woman named Tekin, who is apparently some level of crime boss organizer and personal entrepreneur. She was reluctant to leave, apparently having recently established her hold on the location. Um, however, However, her reluctance proved her downfall well, as she got shot a whole bunch. <laughs> also, some droidicas got shot a whole bunch. Also, our party got shot a whole bunch. Yep. So, picking up, the group is heading on, I assume, towards the airfield. Um, to hopefully grab their ship and what they were doing from there was really unclear to me but i assumed that that was the next step yeah i know we we talked also about searching the compound for changusta because mm. we had information that the doug was here also um so uh, the problem was we didn't really get far into like how far we really wanted to follow that that thread. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh man, I, I think if anything, it's smart to go to the ship and at least secure it because then, like, for example, uh, some of the other characters, like Corey's mother, can just stay on the ship and be safe if we decide to go back and do some recon for. Uh, reruns bit, so I think if anything, my vote's just to go get the ship at bare minimum. My, okay. my question is, that what is we're doing? did rerun just go off and try and find him on his own? <laughs> <laughs> Rerun's still with you, though he is beeping indignantly about wanting to kill someone. Okay. Uh, yeah, I vote we at least go secure the ship, and then from there we can decide who's going to stay on the ship. Um, yeah. 
you know, if we want to go running around looking for Changu's goat or not. Uh, yeah, I think I think at least getting Corey's mom onto the ship and and hopefully getting the ship to safety. Cool. Cat. I mean, so, Corey you- is. Corey still currently has 12 wounds out of 12. So Corey is not contributing any much to the conversation and is just sort of staggering along with her mom. All right. <laughs> well, can I try yeah. and Corey then? Yeah, your mom is probably going to try and like, not necessarily lift you, but find some support because, yeah, you're not doing great, are you? Nope. Didn't I heal you? Who did I, I heal? got strain healed back. I don't think I got any wounds healed. Oh no, wait. I stand I corrected. I, I stand I corrected. I have sorry. My my damage is not in my wounds. I, mm. I, I misregistered. I'm all healed. I just have almost all my strain still. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was like. Yeah, I could have sworn I healed you because I got like that's like right. I was I was wrong. Work. I'm right still that. mentally blah. Yeah, so it's the yeah. strain which I can't do anything about. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you're headed towards there's the ship. Um, as you do, uh, Sai, make me a vigilance check. Difficulty two. Okie dokie. Uh, difficulty two, no boost die. Skills. Vigilance. Two successes with three advantages. All right. Off to the side where there was previously Droidicas guarding the place. He seems to be empty now. You can assume that the Droidicas were inside in that fight you just had. Okay. Um, you do notice that they... Starport, Starport would be generous. Private parking garage, I guess, <laughs> um, is much emptier than it was when you got here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but at the end of last session, before we blew her head off, she said that um, backup was on its way. We heard that, correct? Yes, she did. Okay. Um, was in effect, reinforcements were en route. Okay, so we need to be quick. Um, yeah, if it's if it seems clear and empty, yeah. then um, let's not waste any time and make a straight shot for the ship. Yep, you head up to the ship that opens for you. Uh, you left glass and rainbow there, uh, so they. Rainbow's actually probably waiting on the dock to let you in. I assume the entire group of you head inside. Cool. Yep. Guess we can move you to the Nasari map. Wait, that's the wrong Nasari map. <laughs> I was gonna say. I'm like that's a long time coming, actually. Um, so with us is the three of us, Corey's mother, Rerun, Ares, Ares' new best friend, um, anyone, anyone else tag along? Yeah. Oh, the, the um, Jedi dude other people. person. So, the people you've rescued, because I have a folder of all the people you rescued, um, is the strange twilight man with sort of damaged Lake who, who, who introduced himself as Vice. Vice, and with a lightsaber. <laughs> who, yes, has a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is still, like, until you get into the ship, at which point he'll deactivate it. And still just hold it like this, because that's how he was told to hold it. Okay. <laughs> and he doesn't give a shit. Um, yeah, Corey's mother. Uh, Tasha, uh, who was apparently enslaved here, human woman, um, who you found in Tekin's sort of, uh, house, penthouse. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and 
I never pronounce his name even partly right. Uh, let's see if I can. Um, Yar, Yarek, Yarek, the Yarek. one that is in that range. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah I think it's Yarek. Um, okay. Um, I mean, all we have left to do here, the two big things that are left, at least that Sai knows about, um, is going back to free the rest of the slaves was a thing we talked about originally and trying to find Changuska, assuming Changuska hasn't left on a ship already. Um, hmm. I guess Sai kind of looks at everybody and just says, there's still possibly a lot we could do here, but reinforcements, reinforcements are apparently on the way, yet we have no knowledge on how many or time. Does anyone have a good reason why, other than that, we, we, we should just leave and abandon everything else we were going to do here? Rerun sort of whistles, rolls over to one of, of the Nasari's computers. Reinforcements isn't a bad idea. Right? I'm assuming you're talking about your friends, Rerun. Mm. Okay. That gives us a, a good reason to stay a little bit longer if we have our own reinforcements coming. They could also help with the slaves and freeing them. Um... Now our ship has no... So, I know, I remember communications obviously don't work here. Um, uh, communications don't seem to work at all. Scanning equipment is challenging. Rerun is using something that he got from uh, contacts of his to send the message to his crew. Um, Rerun, do you have any possible way or idea of how we could track where Changuska could be other than scuba doing this entire compound looking for him. That's not my area of expertise and I don't. Let me see what rerun knows. Sorry. Apologize for the sound of trucks outside if you can hear that. <laughs> How do we take this moment to um, get um, their new guests settled in rooms? <laughs> make sure that they're okay. Make sure that they have like food and drink and whatever, and and are safely uh, safely Stoned. away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> safely out of a combat zone on the top floor. Um, Rel will sort of insist on staying with Corey. Um, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> but Yarek will be quite happy to not be around. Own to Ares for the moment. Yeah. He gets I'll, the I'll blood put, room. Put, I was gonna say, I'll, I'll, absolutely. I was gonna say, I'll put, I'll put him in the blood room. Okay. <laughs> Given what we know about Yarek, I'm going to ask uh, Rainbow to keep an eye on him. Um, Sai, I want you to roll me a... Especially if Actually, we... mind me, do you wear any rebellion symbology? Do I? Um, it's, uh, it's probably visible right now. It's not on any of my big, like, cover-up yeah. coats, but, like, but on my like, interior armor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. there's definitely some. Then... He's just gonna roll for that. Yeah, I'll say two successes is enough. Um, as he sort of heads with Rainbow towards the room he's being assigned, um, he'll sort of whisper to you, 
There's more to that story than our mutual friends told you. We should speak privately. Um, all right, let's, um, let me get everything figured out on what our next plan of action is and I'll come meet up. Yeah. This is your bedroom. This is your... Um, I apologize um, yes. to our listeners who just heard something very strange. I am assuming it was wrestling sounds and you can't It kind of it. was. It was the very opening intro to Chris Jericho's latest Talk is Jericho podcast, which was crickets and the beginning of what sounded like an ad. <laughs> I closed the tab very quickly. My bad. Oops. Sorry about that. Somebody that works while they game. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. No. Do your thing. I may have completely lost my place. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. No, it's not on you at all. Uh, Yurik was just telling. Right. So, yeah. uh, Yeah. So, Rel Rel will insist on staying with Corey. Yurik will go wherever he's been assigned. Um, Powder, you're just going to put Tasha and Vice somewhere. Yeah, like I said, I'll 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 put them in in probably the rooms across from the blood room. Um. Hey, you know. It's uh, like a Laquita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and just make sure that they're okay. Um. Yeah, both of them are relatively fine. Um, obviously, Vice has all of the scars, especially along his leku and his arms, um, seemingly from various sources, pretty significant, but it, um, if they look like they need healing, I will try to heal them. Um, They're all old scars. They're all as healed as they're gonna get. Right. Um, then yeah, she'll basically just ask if they need anything to eat or drink, assure them that they have comfortable beds and they can just sleep and get some rest and like actually get better. Okay. Well, unless anyone, the only horse I have left in this race is doing what we can for the other individuals that were enslaved here. Unless anyone has anything else left to do, my vote is we go take care of that as quickly as we can and then get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if there's no objections, um... Oh, that's right. You asked Rerun about Chinguska. Yes. Um, Rerun also... Chinguska's a coward, but he... And he generally knows which way the winds blow. Thing. So he's probably fucked off, off by now. That's what I assume, especially with... All of the previous spaceships that were here are no longer being here. So, all right, um, everyone, uh, restock ammo and grenades in case things get shitty again. Um, we'll head out here in just a couple minutes, and I will make my way to Yarik's room. Um. Yeah. You head off to the blood room, which is easy enough to find. Uh, <laughs> you remember where it is. Yeah, we all know where that room is. <laughs> Rainbow will sort of look up when you come in. Do you speak binary? I do. Okay. Well, aren't you a bit of a Welsh potato? Thank you. Um... We'll head on... <laughs> On their way, leaving you wondering what it is. What's well? 
<laughs> it's, 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 yeah, it's like Sai knows what potatoes are, but not what Welsh means. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I, I'll uh, open up the door and just sort of kind of like lean up in the door frame and mm-hmm. just be like, so. How much does that mean to you? And sort of gestures to the symbol of rebellion wherever you wear it. Well, considering I have it on my person, given the current galactic state, probably means quite a bit. Why? Uh, Well, better take the risk. Okay. So what has Ares told you? (laughs) Ares has told me a lot of things. Do you mean specifically about you? Mm-hmm. Well, I know that you made Ares very upset by purchasing some armor that I guess you're not supposed to have due to Mandalorian codes or something like that. Um, honestly, I'm not even sure if you're Mandalorian at this point or not. Um he says a word that's very familiar to you as something Ares has said to you before. <laughs> okay. I so, just know I just know you broke some honor code thing and it upset Ares a lot. Yeah, yeah, I would have broken a few of those, huh? Yeah. Not everyone cares about it as much as that idiot does. <laughs> Sometimes there are <coughs> Things more important than honor, even for us. See truth in that? That was my armor. I had every right to have it. That was armor I forged. uh, And that I I fought in. But. How did Ares lose his arm? So I, I want you to make me a reflexive knowledge warfare roll with this next thing. And I'll give you two boost die for your affiliation. Okay. Well, uh, difficulty. Uh... Difficulty of three, as this is fairly obscure. Okay, I'm gonna burn a light side point because I am really interested in what's going on. So upgrade. Okay, big money no whammies. Huzzah! Success and advantage. All right. Um, so he's like, I guess you could say that that comes down to the winter on planets far from the sun. And you recognize that as a code phrase that you would have learned being especially a recruiter. Um, there are a few, not many, and they're usually used very sparingly, um, because you don't want any spies to be able to out other spies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that uh, makes sense. Um, it's a code phrase the Repellian uses for infiltrators, specifically generally people infiltrating criminal organizations, not necessarily the Empire directly, but affiliated part organizations or companies and stuff. Um, okay. So... So you like gather he's probably telling you that, or uh, trying to tell you, implying at least, that he is a spy for the Rebellion. Huh. Wow, well, this got interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, what a great session for John not to be here. <laughs> I, 
actually really glad that John's not here because he doesn't have to know this happened. I know that's yeah. what's so great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna milk the fuck. Also, out of hi John. If you're the one ed- editing this episode this week, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna kind of give him a. It's like a like, are you fucking with me? Look, and then after like a brief second, just be like. I mean, there are not many people in this part of the galaxy that would know that phrase. I what? understand that I'm taking a risk trusting. Well, yeah, I understand that, especially given other company, as Sai kind of like nods his head to the back of the ship. Um, Look, Ares is going to do whatever he thinks is justified under codes of honor honor that we abandon in our home world to be obey but i need you to get what i've learned to the people who need it yeah let's 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 get the information transferred over before we discuss what we're going to do about aries right so what were you doing admire your confidence kid all right (laughs) I worked with Ares for a long time. I worked with, I guess you could say, my clan family for a while. Uh, But what I was learning, it was helpful but there was something else. We knew that there was a pattern. Um, kids going missing, but not just the, not just how they're taking all the force sensitive kids. Lots of people know about that. There was something else happening, um, something quieter. The empire's got plans within plans and it's always hard to say what's the empire and what's some other secretive group what's hell maybe that something that's actually another branch of the rebellion so i needed to go in and i needed to find the people that seemed to be the intermediaries the ones who know knew something so you play the mercenary pretend the only thing you care about is money I may have kind of ditched Ares with the means to escape. I left the key in his pocket. I figured he'd find it. Um, Just to convince them. So is this grudge Ares has against you, it's not because you're actual like blood family and stuff it's just because you screwed them over but still it's we're clan where i would have worked for him but he's too dumb so i worked for his sister that makes complete sense now i know you're not lying Poor Aries. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, we work together and <sighs> yeah, I needed to I need to go underground. And that's what happened there. But beyond that, what I found out. There's some project. They were using too many back channels for it to be the normal nonsense. Some other plan. Some...
changing of the guard, I think. They wanted people that were more loyal, that hadn't been there before. Or that people that they could control utterly. There was brainwashing chambers, other stuff, but they figured me out pretty fast. I think I asked too many questions. Where, where was this at? I was working under Tekken. I never figured out who, who was supplying in her or who, who she was sending things to next. All I know is that people information went through her. She used her resources and her specialties to refine it. There were some shipping records essentially uh, and other things, but I never, I mean, memorize some of it. Give me a data bad, I, I can write Yeah, it. of course, yeah. So just so I've got this straight, the empire or some channel within or related was basically, for lack of a better term, ordering specially created loyal subjects from Tekken. Yeah, or th I think so, but she was definitely getting them from a specific supplier. Okay, so it's probably a some slaver group or something like that? It seems to be. Okay. Well, there's no shortage of those around these days, so... Yeah. The, the challenge is trying to... Like I said, the requirements were specific. They were... Was there was Corey's... planning. Was Corey's mother one of these individuals? A uh, woman I met? Yeah, but the, broke out early with you and Aries. I doubt it. Okay, so they're not looking for, like, specialized intelligence. Because from what I can tell, she's brilliant. No, I, I think it's... Like I said, from what I could tell, they were looking for people with dispositions, but people who were moldable. Okay. Uh, most of the targets were younger. <clears throat> All right. Well, get everything that you can transferred over to the data pad. Mm -hmm. um, a sneaking suspicion, once this is all said and done and we get out of here, Ares is going to want to enact his revenge. Yeah. You have... Until that time, to use all the spy training you've accomplished and gathered at this point to try to delay that so that I can help you escape. Got it? Got it. Worst comes to worst, though. Um, if things get heavy... Uh, I'd be real surprised if the two of us could take down Ares alone. So <laughs> don't um, don't uh, don't plan on that being a, a plan C or D. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stupid muscle head. Go ahead, um, if you feel inclined, if you have any friends or family that you would like to get word to, put that on the data pad as well, and if things go shit side up with Ares at the end of the day, I can get that information sent out as well. Anyone that I knew like that, I don't have any intention of dragging back in, or they're currently here to kill me. Or would be very happy to hear Ares has succeeded. All right. 
Well, that big brain of yours has kept you alive this long. You've got until we get out of this little system to put it to good use to try to figure out what our next plan is to get you out of here safe and sound. And um, uh, Sai will turn and head out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so Sai will make his way back down to uh, the launch pad um, and see who all is there um, in terms of wanting to go back in and free the rest of the slaves at this point. All right. So while that was happening, um, Powder, what are you up to? Um, Well, once she has everybody um, that wants a room in a room, she will head back and make sure that uh, Corey and her mother are okay. Um, And like, if there's anything needed there. and then if nothing is needed there, then uh, we'll go and check with Glass and see if anything happened on the ship while they were gone. Yeah. Corey's uh, room has not seen visitors at this time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so Glass will... Nothing happened to my knowledge. We just stayed here. No one came by. That is good. Is there anything you need? Uh, in what way? In what way? In any way? Food, drink. She seems... Hmm, no. Okay. And then Powder will turn to leave. Glass will turn back to the console. Ah, I believe this is something you may wish to look at. Powder will turn back around. Uh, You've got up the rerun and Corey had previously he gotten some of the monitoring system kind of working. They're very staticky and the numbers jump around far more than they should. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's various beeping areas and things. It does seem like they may have turned off the atmosphere. Damn. <laughs> 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 and, and Powder will say fuck taint in binary. <laughs> it's difficult to determine, but I wouldn't risk it. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. I will inform the others. Of course. And Powder will immediately go to find Corey. Corey is still not taking visitors in the room. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You yeah, might want to go to the person outside. whose plan was to go outside <laughs> and is made of flesh. That is true. Is 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 he done with his um Yeah, talk? about at this point, Asai is okay. wandering back. Yeah, if okay. anything, probably walking around, you see Sai at the like lift gate loading a new energy cell into his heavy blaster and like checking the grenades on his belt. <laughs> then then Powder will, will go up to Sai and and uh, just kind of put the, the, the three pronged hand on your shoulder. No, this isn't good, is it? It seems they have turned off the atmosphere. Fuck. 
<sighs> Indeed. You know, I look at Sai when he first joined the crew. <laughs> and then I look at him now. And it's been such a journey for our Twi'lek. <laughs> so much has changed in such a short time. We're proud um, of him. Sai, Sai definitely drops his head a little bit in, in uh, remorse. Because, I mean, if they turned off the... Um, Environment. I know it's safe to say then the slaves are probably dead at this point. Or at least impossible to get to for us. Well, me. And as you've stated previously today, you are not a combat droid and probably don't want to go trouncing in there, loathsome. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yes, we should leave. Um, Sai will then go just to the ship comm, like the internal comm of the ship, and just say, um, Ares, unless you have anything left to do, I think it's time for you to get us out of here. I would like to remind them if they w- just in case they aren't aware, we do have space suits. Yep. Yeah, um, but it's that's real because if the spacesuit gets damaged, and I'm not saying. Fired, yeah, I'm not saying <laughs> go if do it. Off the Atmo, people are already dead. It's just there's no point. Yeah, like Sai, Sai probably is safely assuming like they that it's like everywhere and that whatever slaves were left are probably just killed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying do it. I'm s- simply saying if you want to check and make sure. There is that option, and it's not like there will be any fleshy people who are there to shoot you. <laughs> It'll just be the no. Door. Neither of you were there. You don't know. Yeah. 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 I think at this point, Sai's probably ready to bail. The the one person, two people that we came here for, one we are fairly certain is gone by now, and. One of them is on the ship now, and we also got another one that we weren't expecting to get, but we got as a, as a bonus. So um, overall, pretty good day for us, I think, and no one died. Mm-hmm. Except for all the slaves. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Sorry, like I am the meta, I am the meta snark people, for the moment. You know. I mean, in the Rebellion, you learned that there's... A, a, some point there's only so much you can do against no, I, I love that because it's absolutely the kind of combat report Anakin would give. It was a good day. No one died except for all of the civilians. No one died as the ship takes off and the camera cuts to inside the inside the facility <laughs> like, where there are the just dozens <laughs> upon dozens upon dozens of dead people floating around. Well, they wouldn't be floating because the reason for the atmosphere is not because... It's not gravity, it's... <laughs> atmosphere could also be... Yeah. And either yeah. way, they're, they're in, you know, cages. Yeah. So. That, and honestly, Cy doesn't want to go back in there without, without Ares, honestly. So... Yeah. And right. we know... We get know. going. We know reinforcements are on the way, so let's go. Yeah. Yep. Aries will sort of, uh, where are we going? <sighs> Away from here as quickly as possible. Um, and do the coordinates for the rebel base that I knew of when mm-hmm. we first got here. Yep. Um, the coordinates for it should be in the computer because I put them in there. So. Let's just jump to right outside there, and then if things get hairy, even then we've got a rebel base literally right next to us we can run to. Because cool. the only other place I know the coordinates to is Crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, too. <laughs> All right. So, Aries and... That'll work. 
Um, yeah. So between Ares and Rerun, they shoot off, and you guys are floating through hyperspace. Hmm. I, I'm probably at this point just in my room mulling over the data pad, mm -hmm. uh, doing my best to commit all of the information Yarek has discovered to memory in case something, to, has ha something happens to the data pad or something like that. Yeah. Um, while you're sure he transcribed it fairly accurately, none of it necessarily means anything to you. It's mostly like the middle of a page of shipping information. So yeah. There's codes and coordinates, but all of it's somewhat encrypted. Hopefully, your code breakers can do something about it. Um, yeah, there, there are other people in the Rebellion that are paid to do that, and I am not one of them, so I will rely on them. <laughs> I like your impression that the Rebellion pays... It, it pays with, with give you a stipend when they remember. It, it's it's it, you get paid with like high fives and a you're doing good work, kid. <laughs> yeah, I mean on a good day. On a bad day, you're paid in a want to donate to the rebellion or blood <laughs> or blood. Blood works too. But yeah, I guess that's what I would be doing because um, yeah. I don't really want to touch the Ares Yarrick thing until I absolutely have to, so. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um... Okay. So, Vice is sort of sitting, or probably wandering around the ship, humming to himself. Uh, Rel is with Corey. Tasha will stay wherever she, whatever room she's given. And Yarek will stay in his room because he has a strong suspicion about how many guns Ares has. Yeah. <laughs> and the group of you float away through the vacuum of space. In a ship. We're not just floating through. <laughs> no, the ship disappeared on you. No, you're in a ship. Um, powder. I think there was something that you were planning on doing after we were done with this, but I didn't. Um, if there was, I don't remember. The problem is probably the two things we would have planned on doing <laughs> heavily involve the two people that aren't here. So, okay. uh -huh. um, Eventually. I, I was going to say, I think the only thing that Powder was going to do was try and go through um, the stuff they that was taken out of out of yeah. their brain and see what mm -hmm. they could figure out. But I thought I did that already. And I don't remember anymore. It's been... You learned life. some things. Uh, just to refresh your memory, you know what's on those memories now uh, right i remember the the horrible horrible video <laughs> mm -hmm. you know the general compulsions um you know that it's old from reruns run through it um that this would date you at like 
300, 400 years. Yeah. Um, At some point, problem is I, I don't know how I would want to go about it, but I want to interrogate the fuck out of Vice. Because I am so confused about that, dude. <laughs> well, I can't help you with how to go about it, because yeah. that is a character decision. But Vice is easy enough to find, given that every time you, like, put him in a place, you close the door, somehow he ends up back wandering around through your ship humming loudly yes so at some point towards like the end of the hyperspace thing i'll come out of my room and the uh, voice oh yes um do we need to drop you off somewhere um <laughs> <laughs> oh, at some point that would be delightful, yeah. You got a point of origin that you prefer? Tatooine? The airlock? Any any preference at all? At all? On anything? Oh, well, I totally yes. Can I'm we really just tired. jettison you out into space right now? <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to get a reaction at this point. <laughs> <laughs> a planet. Mm -hmm. See where we are. Um, I'm gonna drop him at crossroads. You did that before. We did. Let's see. Ooh, there is a grassy one that you'll find about that way. He sort of gestures in a direction from does, where we'll end up. Does he have his lightsaber on him? It, there are rings sort of around his belt, so the pieces of it, yes. It seems to be de He's not currently wielding it, but... All right. Sai goes up to Ares in the control room and tells Ares to go to the rebel base. Because that is where we're dropping Vice... And that very important weapon that the Rebellion could put a lot of good use to, lightsaber off of. And the Rebellion was never heard from again. That's not true. I said, I put a lot of pain into preserving continuity. Oh, no, no, absolutely. I, If Vice has really bad planes, I imagine that really quickly he runs into, like... Um, uh, 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 hey, and, 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 and Lux, and they just look at each other, look at his, like, splurt. That is another way to do it. <laughs> um, no, like, three rebel bases are never heard from again. That's pretty normal. Yeah, yeah, that's that, 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 that's, that's okay. Nice. So. You, yeah, Arius is snarky and rude and says, wasn't that what we were going to do anyway? I'm yep, just going to make sure everyone's on the same page, Arius. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Great impression. <laughs> oh my god. He makes more snarky comments about how he's not allowed to do the astrogation anyway. While sort of glaring at Rerun, who whistles back at him. Um, yeah. And eventually, you arrive uh, at the outskirts of a world swirling with purple smoke. Air. You don't necessarily know much of anything about this space, Sai. You just know that this is where it is and that you have approximate ways to contact it. Yeah. Airy, he sort of ducks in through the external layers of the atmosphere. Um, those of you watching out the window who see these purple clouds become blue ones, become green ones. 
um, as you descend in through eventually he sets down on a hilltop well this is the space that's big enough to land that's fine um and then i'll use i'll do what aries has done in the past when he communicates with his sister and i'll use the ship's like private comms to calm in the rebellion yep okay. I uh, you send through your codes, and after long enough that a normal person would hang up, uh, the comm blinks on. Hey. Hello? Yes. Um, this is Siolo, um, <clears throat> member. And then I assume, like, I would have, like, a, a passphrase or something, you know, like, yeah. uh, the colds are old, but they, you know, check out kind of thing. Um, and then um, I've got a uh, individual, possibly multiple, for drop-off that needs safekeeping, along with um, a possible weapon that uh, whoever's head of this base may want to get their hands on. Okay, okay. Uh, they'll sort of mumble back to you code phrases. Uh, let's see. We've got your ship at these coordinates. That means... They'll s How many people are coming? One for sure. Um, and... Possibly two more, possibly, but one for sure. No, how, how many, because transit, how many people are coming? I'm not saying they're all staying, just. Um, well, if you, I mean, I kind of made the assumption you would want to come to us for secrecy's yeah. sake, but yeah, if you want us to come to you. Look, it's not. How big of a transit am I sending? Um, well, if you're sending a transit to us, then only possibly three will return with you. Okay. Um, we'll go with that. And the comm clicks off. <gasps> Testy. The rebellion, the rebellion's relay operator. I mean, that would be a job that would get you pretty cynical, pretty fucking quick. <laughs> so I was like, I had a great day today. Do not ruin this for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and while we are waiting for them. I'm going to go around and ask um, the other um, individuals we saved from the floating castle if they would like to be dropped off here as a place to um, be that safe that doesn't involve following us around and the dangers that go around with us uh, go around following us. Um, I'm going to also ask Glass if this is where sh they would eventually like to be dropped off at. Um, and then also ask um, Corey's mother. Uh, Glass is going to need a roll of insight because she's not quite that stupid. But we'll see how much she trusts you. I mean... 
pretty much Vice is the only one I kind of have alternative motives for dropping off here. Everyone else is, at least from size point of view, like, no, this is a safe place kind of thing. Um, what difficulty for the inside check? Um, so, yeah, yours is going to be probably a negotiation difficulty, too. Okay. Opposed by her... Three successes, an advantage, and two triumphs. Okay. Yeah, she's got a presence of Two. I don't think she can even make this roll. <laughs> yeah. Um, she will go wherever the fuck you want her to go because that <laughs> ah, that's what happens when you're a negotiator. Oh, oh glass, I want you to Make the choice. It's a safe place. You'll have things you can do other than just sit on this ship and wait for us to return every time. Um, you won't be inherently more dangerous than you are with us, with the Empire and everyone that's chasing this godforsaken ship. Mm. It's up to you, though. The role to think she's actually good at. Oh, she's only got one rank in it because she was busy helping with scanners. Ah, that's fine. Um, Glass will... No offense meant, but given my particular specialties, I'd be... disinclined to lend those to one side or the other. I mean, you do realize you're lending them to me, which is the side of the rebellion. So you're already doing it. Um, given that Powder has talked about this a few times, you can roll me a knowledge warfare check. Um, so... Uh, Okay, uh, difficulty two? Yep. Uh, fail with an advantage. Um, yeah, well, Glass is definitely smart, and she's definitely got a fair amount of information that would be unusual, but yeah, she's already lending that to the robot, so... She'll sort of, well, I, I can tell when I'm being asked to leave, and I certainly don't mind. I literally said it was your choice, but, um... If you don't want to go, you don't have to. It's just this, this is probably the only time an opportunity like this will come up, is my assumption. Uh, so Glass will head off while you're talking in her direction <laughs> and sort of knock on Powder's door. Oh man, I was super excited for at some point I was being like, like a week, weeks later, uh, I'm gonna go find Glad. Oh, she left a while ago. <laughs> what? Wait, what? I mean, Corey's not terribly good at multifocusing. No. That is a thing. Uh, yeah, Powder will will answer a door. 
It seems that this is the destination I'm being dropped off at. So I wanted to see if there was anything else you required of me. I know you had made some inquiries in the past asked about various things and you had an interest in my and she'll sort of press on her chest. Powder's eyes will kind of whir and circle. Mm -hmm. um, are you wanting to leave? I don't want any way, but a convincing argument was made that it would be preferable, optimal, safer. Well, I do believe that you are attached to Corey at the moment. Yes. So I you am, may aren't I? want to speak to her before leaving. I you for remembering because I was not sure if any of you were going to remember that before killing her. Oh yeah. I absolutely remember that. <laughs> yeah, I'll look into that once Corey is ready. It does seem like we will have some time anyway. Uh, sorry, sorry, who else were you trying to market as this is a good place to end up? I was just going around asking if anyone did not want to be on the death ship that is this fucking ship. Um, <laughs> And that would be also Corey's mother. Um, this would be a safe place for her to hang out until we got done with doing whatever we need to do. And then Corey can come back and pick her up um, along with the other, was it two individuals? I know there was the lady in the penthouse. That was that it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So and then her as well. Lady in the penthouse, there's uh, Vice, who you'd have to talk to. Uh, so... Rel will, Rel will go. Uh, basically, you're like, here's a reasonably safe place. And she's like, yeah, sure. Works for me. Yeah, with the understanding that at any point, Corey wants to come get her when Corey's done with doing whatever sure, she's sorry, doing. Not Rel, Tasha. Tasha oh, Tasha, go. okay. Um, sorry. I mixed those two up because I'm bad at this. Uh, Tasha will go. Tasha okay. is the person you found um, in the penthouse. In the penthouse. Okay. And I'm just going to tell Vice that this is where we're dropping him off. <laughs> As you say that, he sort of inclines his head. Oh, this isn't the forested one. It's, it's three planets that way. No, this is, uh, honestly, it's just a little bit more convenient for us, given the one that we are your ride. Hmm. And this is our ship. And we saved you from being in a place with no oxygen or environment. I have to pull up the Force and Destiny book because he wants to try something. Sai si is only a hardcore dick to people that he thinks needs it. And someone who never answers a fucking question directly <laughs> in Sai's book is someone who needs it. <laughs> it's just, it's it's very funny. Like like Jeremy brought up earlier. It's very interesting to see how Sai has changed since oh, yeah. he's been on this ship. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is delightful. And honestly, <laughs> yeah. It, you put a good boy in a ship full of mercenaries and people who, you know, do what the the ship does, they, they, they get a little harder. <laughs> Beautiful. Let me put a person next to Aries for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so
so a person who has actively tried to to be friends with Aries. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, let's watch uh, soup races together and We're just gonna roll. Um, that. Oh, that may fuck with the dark side, light side thing, huh? I'll need to fix that. I don't know if this applies at all. Actually, I, no. Okay. I do have nobody's fool, which upgrades certain checks that are done against me for certain things. Yeah, that may apply. Um, okay. Um, which checks are those? Um, upgrade the difficulty of any charm, coercion, or deception checks. Okay. Yes, that will be upgraded. Um, you'll need to make me a cool check difficulty two against this. Um... Cool check difficulty two. Hmm. I'm gonna use uh, a light side point. I'll flip that right back. You're going to upgrade both sides of your roll. Okay. I'll flip that right back once I find the thing um, among three, all of the character sheets. Three successes, a threat, and a triumph. Getting all the triumphs today. <laughs> Size doing what the character was built to do, negotiate people to join the rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, he's only got one right. Okay. He's not as good at that particular thing as I thought he was. But he did roll his force check, so that's gonna be... I mean, he is incidentally having good things happen comparatively, but that he can have a maximum of one more six, one success, so we'll sort of slide his hand. But I really thought we were going to the forested planet. And for a moment, that sounds like a really good idea to mm -hmm. you. Like, oh yeah, that actually would be a good place to calm down, especially if it's not inhabited, then you're like, no, I need him going here, because this is where the rebellion is. Um, okay, do I do I know it was a, these aren't the droids you're looking for kind? Like, do I, is it sort of like being charmed in D&D &D where the, the charmy has an innate sense that that happened if it fails kind of thing? Not necessarily. There's no innate sense. Uh, you do... I will give you a... Oh, there's no knowledge religion check. Let's I just know because like in the movie sometimes they're like, don't try those Jedi tricks on me kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's specifically species that in the movies are immune. Oh, okay. Um, you are a human. You are a Twi'lek who are vulnerable to this. Um, yeah, like... Certain alien species are less susceptible. Huts in general are almost... That's part of how they manage to do all the stuff they do. Um, gotcha. but, but in terms of that, you can make me a... Uh, I'll say knowledge lore role to place this as a thing that Jedi can do. Could I make an argument for knowledge xenology? No, this is this is about mythology. Okay, that's fair. This is not um, about biosciences. Uh, two difficulty. Difficulty three, as the Jedi were always a little bit 
This was not something they advertised being able to do. Two successes and a threat. Yeah, it it does occur to you that that is a thing Force users can do, at least according to the stories. Um, okay. Many of which are sort of Imperial propaganda y, so dubious. Um, which makes sense because Psy doesn't often quest, second question himself. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, so yeah, so Psy kind of like has that thought and goes, not cool. <laughs> That's not how we make friends around here. Friends that saved you. You're going here. It's safe. And you can have a way out if you want to leave. Mm. But we aren't going anywhere else. So, this is where you're going. I suppose it will be an opportunity to get away from all the boring ones. And Sai leaves. <laughs> um, it's not I'm cool, man. Come on. <laughs> not cool. Um, and then, yeah, all that, the last person would be Corey's mother. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, you're still busy, I assume. Uh, give me. Uh, yeah. okay. Give me. Are you able to send us to break? Yeah, I can send you to break. Yeah, for sure. It is eight. Yeah. That's easy. All right, we'll be back. Bye.
All right, welcome back everyone to Star Wars Afterlight Skies, where I'm half expecting someone to say we don't have sound. Uh, do, 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 do. No, I'm okay. pretty sure we have sound. <laughs> so, Silo has been going around and trying to organize who will be leaving. Vice <laughs> will be leaving. Okay. <laughs> Trish. That's not her name. And Tasha will be leaving. Hang with a little less aggressiveness to the fourth verse. Um, Yarick's probably staying because we're not going to talk to Ares about maybe letting him go. Yeah. That, yeah, that and might end up with an axe in the unfortunate places that Corey would not like it to go, namely the ship. Yeah, like no, we no, let I I certainly would not be the one having that conversation with him. Oh yeah, no, we just let him go. Yeah. <laughs> so to preserve the ship integrity, Ares is not being consulted on this at that at this moment. He's just pacing and being macho Mandalorian in his room. Yeah. Yeah. He's shining um, his armor. Ares, you were probably wondering. Why we had you go into this heavily bulkheaded room, and c so we could communicate with you through the ship's comm systems? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, it's been suggested that Glass potentially would be leaving, but that has not been resolved yet. At this time, Sai, I, you're coming to talk to uh, Corey and her mother, Rel, about... Yeah, so Sai makes his way to uh, their room and just kind of knocks on the door. Or I imagine I've been mostly sleeping up until now. Yeah. Probably. So, yeah, uh, you've I... gotten a rest at yeah. this point because that was your focus. Okay. Does that do anything for my strain? I think yeah, I think that clears up most of your strain. Yeah, when a long rest cures all strain, yes. but only like one point of wound or something like that. Yeah, I'm fine wound wise. So yeah, except we got goes over to the door. Uh, uh hey, hello, Is Corey. Okay. Um, yeah, no, we um, we're at one of um my bases uh, for the rebellion and oh. we um are rounding up folks who you know we saved um or who want to be dropped off or are just needing a, a place to lay low for a little bit um i was not sure if you wanted um your mother to join us on whatever adventure we're doing next and what that entails um, or if you would like for her to hang out here until you are done with whatever business you are doing and you would be more than welcome to come back at any time to pick her up. Uh, uh, I'm just extending the, um, the locational offer of a, of a safe base for your mother to lay low uh, until you have all your ducks in a row to, um, I don't know, uh, be a family again. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Um... Uh, that's, uh, that's a really good question. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you. Click. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> Click. Yep. Um, we are here. Right. I need to answer right. now. This moment? Um, um like... Within probably the next 10 minutes. Okay, I'll get back to you within the next 10 minutes. Click. Okay. <laughs> this is how Corey deals with her problems. She turns off the intercom. Uh, <laughs> you're sitting inside the door because you came here in person and now you're wondering what you were doing here. <laughs> I right, mean, Corey. there's probably some expectation that Corey would open the door. Yeah. Um, 
Your mother probably also needed some rest. Yeah. Because, yeah, she's probably tired too. You know, slavery. A lifetime of that can be tiring. So, she'll... yeah. What was that about? Uh, so apparently we've we've landed on some rebel planet or or at some rebel base or 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 something like that and um are dropping some people off uh and so i just wanted to know what's going on Well, I won't pretend I have a terribly strong grasp of the situation. I know your friend, friend. Yeah, he's got violent. some people. Um, he like uh, he recruits for them or something like that. I don't know. He hasn't actually recruited anybody that I've seen. But uh, I'm still not totally sure how he got on the ship. So, he's a cool guy, though. Um, uh, but, 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 yeah, so, so, you know, and, you know, rebelling, not so. Empire sucks, so. Eh. But, um. Yeah. Uh. So. Hi. Hi. How um, have you been? Good. Uh, um, so. Wow. Uh, it's been a while. It's been. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything. Is that. So. I mean, uh, so, uh, let's see where to start. Um, been working for this guy, um, uh, cause he helped me out with some, with, 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 with some debts and, he put me in touch with this crew, um, because I was just fixing shit on his side. Uh, this place he's at, uh, he, 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 he lives at, uh, uh, Crossroads. Um, anyway, um, but so, the, the, this, this group of people that worked for him needed a new tech person because apparently they didn't have that believe me if you had seen the ship it would have been clear they didn't have that um oh it was so bad um but so i started working for them and that's everybody you've met kind of met i wouldn't say met um uh and I fixed up that ship. I, I fixed up that ship. It took forever, but I fixed that ship up. Then they promptly sold it. Yeah. Still annoyed about that. But, God, they picked this, this one, which is bigger. Um, uh, I've been fixing up this, and we've been running around doing stuff we were here because uh chinguska uh, uh uh rerun the the r2 um it's a long story but has some issues um uh with him um we were here to get him and surprise surprise and now apparently we're not on that planet anymore How have you been? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So what happens now? 
Ah, uh, that's a uh, that's a uh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I've mostly been trying to get in the clear so I could eventually. You know, get a enough mind to get you, um, and you know, do some side things on the side of kind of gotten into the droid rights crusade a little bit, um, uh, and so. I don't know now. Um, I mean, uh, <sighs> hmm. I mean, is there anybody? I guess the first thing is: there anybody out there looking for you in a bad way? Aside from the people we just fled from, potentially. I think they're all dead. I know Mostly of. dead. I don't know. Ares was there, and he's pretty good about making things dead. Um, like he's a bit of an. He's like, he's sort of like a Corellian fungus. Except for he doesn't smell quite as good. But he grows on you. In a weird way. And yet, he still, so very much like a Corellian fungus, because he can still kill you at any moment. Um, but... There's one thing that he's good at is making people dead. Um, we have this room here on the ship. It's called the Blood Room. Um, uh, it's not it's not like a killing room or anything like that. It was just a room in which a bunch of people got killed. Um, I'm probably not explaining this real well. Uh, You're not. Uh, Are you doing okay? I'm okay. It's just it's been uh, wow. That was that that was a journey. Um. So no, I'm good. I'm good. Um. It's been a it's been a f interesting few months. Months. I can I hear that. Months. Mm. Um, uh, so, but, but if you're in the free and clear, then I guess, huh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I mean, this ship's going to fall apart if I don't stay here. Um, I mean, it'll fall apart anyways. The crew will, like, kill each other. But that, that, that is, I'm talking about the ship itself. It's going to fall to pieces. Nobody here can fix anything except Rerun. And Rerun, I think, is kind of laser-focused on something right now. So, and I can't let that happen to this ship. Because this ship's been through, she has been hurt enough. Um, but I mean, I didn't really have, I didn't have a lot of thoughts beyond, I didn't have a big plan beyond Oh, shit. That reminds me. As she goes for the hard, the, the, the hard drive. Mm-hmm. Um, I might actually be clear of someone now. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I mean, I don't, I don't know. Uh, my thoughts are kind of stay. Probably I want to stay here, but I'm not sure. And if I'm not financially bound to be staying here, I don't even know where I would go really. Uh, she's saying that as she's doing, she's in the process of hooking, hooking up monitors and mm -hmm. shit. And she's going to try to figure out All right. if the information the Shaper wants yeah. is on here. Okay. I first want you to just roll me a... This probably Sanity won't be hard for you. Difficulty to mechanics to get everything hooked up because okay. it is technically protected. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Difficulty to... I did try him success and four advantages. <coughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. You, you hook it up with no problem. So yeah, start. As, as I'm still just babbling on. And so I'm not really like, um, uh, and there's some things we should talk. So I ended up on Corellia. We ended up on Corellia at one point. And there's some things that we, um, uh, it's a long story. Um, uh, I was going to have, a a a a I was gonna have a conversation with Ares where I I sort of threatened his life, but since he helped get you out, I might not do that now. We're not sure. Uh, I, well, when we say we, we mean me. I'm not sure. Um, Corey, uh, it's okay. You can breathe. Uh, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh. Shit, this needs to be reversed. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you've gotten access to it. I, you have time to accumulate successes. Mm -hmm. Probably. It depends on whether or not you want to have this done in the 10 minutes it takes Sai to get here. I mean, we'll see. Um, but you're going to need to make computers here on out. You're going to uh -huh. need to accumulate five successes, but I'm making this essentially an extended roll. Okay. Difficulty? Difficulty of two with two setback die for encryption. All right. So we will spend that light side point. Um, well, there's three and a triumph. Um, with three and a triumph, you get into the computer itself easily enough. It seems like there are a lot of various kinds of records stored here. Um, primarily, it seems like a lot of it is related to Tekin's business operations. Mm -hmm. Um, schedules for the complex you were at, um, various contingency measures related to that different people who owed different amounts of money or she owed different amounts of money um you with a triumph i'll say you do notice that chinguska is one of the names listed under people who owes her money with a fair amount of additional files and particular documentation okay. there hey chinguska we just saved you having to owe somebody money you want to come back so we can kill you <laughs> okay cool um, i mean that could very well be what he's looking for i don't have the specific information of what he's looking for right you know that he's looking for him you doubt it's chinguska because shaper never mentioned chinguska no not chinguska specifically oh. but here are a bunch of people who owe a certain person money yeah. Maybe you uh, could know take on those debts. He's looking for a information on something called Project Titania. Titania, that's right. Yes. 
Which control, none of this is labeled that at all. Control okay. F. Project. <laughs> no, Make me another computer's div. <laughs> Same difficulty, but I'll flip a dark side point this time okay. to give it a sense of increasing challenge. Uh, don't know. There we go. Four successes, a despair, and a and a threat. Okay. I don't know what that means. So a despair means things happen in a bad way. Right. And successes mean that things go your way. Right. So four successes and a despair from a meta perspective, especially with a threat, is probably, is there a garbage chute? Yes, but there, there's a monster in it and also it's closing. I get the information, but the computer shocks me to within an inch of my life. That, that would be a way to interpret that. Um, so you're not as familiar with the software side as you are with the hardware right. side. No, so yeah. You're basically just barreling ahead and going through the files, cross-referencing things. Things, and you do find sort of the hidden folders. Um, and eventually you pop up a spreadsheet. Okay. And it just starts scrolling. It is pages and pages of something. And, and you're sort of trying to look through it, trying to check what it is when a pop-up password required. I will try to bypass the password. Yeah. Make me another computer's check. Well, you can have yeah. that light side point back. All right. Difficulty. Difficulty of two with only one setback with this one. time. Okay. Triumph yeah. and a success. A triumph would make that uh, your cumulative's one triumph, which is plenty um, on top of the successes you've gotten. Okay. Yeah, you just sort of work around it um, and get back to where you were. Um, yeah, and as I said before, you are greeted with this extensive spreadsheet. Um I start looking through. Probably learning something that will ultimately yeah. result in my death if anybody knows I know it. Oh, probably. But that's true of most things that you Oh, yes. Do. By the way, it is worth saying that once I'm done with this, I am copying all the information. Yep. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, so... Uh, about at this time, Sai, the, um, Ares will sort of, hey, I got the guns trained on someone outside. Okay, it's probably the envoy. Um, I'll meet them outside. Uh, get everyone ready. Who's wanting to go? You know, make sure they got all their stuff together and I'll go talk with them, get it all set up. Yep, and you will... haven't heard back from Corey yet. Um, I will give Corey a little bit more time, all right. you know, by going out there and talking with them and getting it all set up. Um, there's a, a trend. Sorry, there's the man who meets you outside has um, a face mask cover most of his features and and with him several they kind of look like horses um let's see they, 
so, uh, Roll20 isn't allowing me to add more images, so there's a link in chat, or there should be. Oh, oh. He's riding on one and has several with him um, as you come out onto this rocky sort of plane of the planet. <laughs> okay. That is certainly So, limited. we've got three for pickup. <clears throat> uh, yeah, still waiting to hear back from one more, um, but um, I wanted to give you a heads up. And before I like, say anything else, it's... Uh, is the individual wearing rebellion? Like, is it, do I have any way to tell not that I'm not waving a rebellion flag? He did come and seems to have information, but uh, he's not like wearing the symbol or anything. Okay. Um, then again, that'd be pretty stupid. <laughs> I mean, he's wearing a rebellion uniform, and if you, but if you look really close, you can see the blood flecks on it from the previous owner. <laughs> yeah. Um, for your own knowledge, um, one of them that's coming with you is a force user. From bare minimum, what I can tell is force sensitive enough to try to, um, you know have conversations go his way, or try to at least. I was able to fight it off. All right. Okay, shit, man. That That's a thing. And yeah. he's got a lightsaber. That's a thing! Cool. I thought we were just picking a few... I, I, guess, I guess the Jedi can be refuge... I mean, I guess they did kill a lot of them. I guess Jedi refugees makes a lot of... That's... Okay. You do realize this is... A great... Great... Up the chain. A great thing for us, right? <laughs> like, you should be ecstatic. I found a Jedi and brought it to us. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, sure. I guess that's... Um... <sighs> Look, I don't know. I just know the old stories. I, I wasn't around back then. Um... Okay. We've got a crazy fuck from an order of people that may or may not have betrayed either the Empire or, or the Republic before it and has a laser sword. Good to know. Hope he's on our side. Well, your base will have a lot more better means to deal with him than I do on my ship, so... Uh, yeah, we've got our own pro sure, whatever. Let's <laughs> just We're all we're all part of the rebellion. We we all have our problems. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. son, I'm from Ryloth. I I this is kind of sass I don't take very easily. Yeah, well That sucks for you, I guess. <laughs> Ryloth is certainly the place the Empire has screwed over the most. Eh. And you sure do have a lot more authority than little old me from the outer rim. And where our worlds have already been worked to the bone and there's nothing left to go back. Heck to who, who but a few opportunists is Dick Scavenger is eating up the ashes of what the Empire left behind. I you don't really give a fuck. I joined up to end these people. Also, if we're gonna do that with laser swords and crazy myths, sure. Let's just get on with it. <sighs> oh, every day I see why we're losing. And the side goes back into the ship. He's definitely flipping you off. You can't actually see because he's wearing mittens, but... 
Uh, yeah, so I go inside and see if everyone's ready. It's again, I like so I like the idea that somewhere, so somewhere, Lux and Set are looking at each other like, no, not a fucking Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this guy barely knows the stories. Yeah, no, it makes it makes complete sense. I just, yeah, I am oh, having meta fun Lux with it. Then have this thing where they look back at each other like, I feel like there was a loose end we never dealt with. Well, I, I, I'm sure everyone else can deal with it. No, I feel like it was an us loose end that no we never dealt with. I mean, didn't he get off? Didn't he get what? off the ship with us, anyways? At he the did. time, he didn't stick with you. No, I didn't um, imagine he did. But yeah, you let him off the ship at crossroads. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, cat. Here. <laughs> right now, cat is the GM on this screen. That's right, because Aaron blocked out and blocked back in oh, at one point. Sorry, yeah, because <laughs> it wasn't working. It's all good. We've been live for a while, and I just noticed, and I'm like, huh. We are a all professional. Right. <laughs> it means nothing for those of you who listen to the show instead of watching, so everything's fine. No, for those that listen, our voices just got swapped. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Oh. Okay. All right. Um there we go. Uh, let's just Uh, I'm not even a little sorry. No, you have no reason. I, like, <laughs> I mean, I like the idea that at one point we're gonna go to, go to break, and then when we go, when we'll come back in the middle of break, I will just switch everybody to different spots <laughs> just for fun and see if people notice. I mean, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, let's see. Okay. And all right. Now, going to be sharing something with you. Um, so there is, yeah, getting back in here, there is a long spreadsheet of what seems to be hundreds of names, uh, listed with other information. Uh, there's the name of the person, a score, a source. Um, a box for a test, which, which is just marked with either a minus sign or a plus sign. Um, a section where there seem to be various notes, some sort of comment on each, each individual, and a next steps list. Okay. Is there any indication that this is Project Titania? Yeah, yeah, that would be what okay. the files you found were okay. labeled with. Um, I'm going to go through and look for any names I recognize. Hmm. 
Do you have outer rim, mid rim, or core world? The any of those sorts of yes. knowledge? Yeah, I I mean, uh, let's see. Outer rim, I have three dots in outer rim, three dots in underworld, three two in lore, one in education. I'll say roll me outer rim difficulty three. Okay. Nope, just for advantages. There's no specific people you know on this okay. list. Makes some sense because even if these are hundreds of names out of the billions and billions of people in the galaxy, right? The no, odds I was you know anyone are pretty slim. However, you do recognize a few of the location names with four okay. advantages. I um, was, since it was people apparently being tested for something, I thought maybe it might be like the slaves that were there mm -hmm. being tested for something and see if I would need to delete my mother's name before no. sending this information along. So, yeah, you're not going to have to roll for that because it's fairly easy to search a spreadsheet. Yeah. Like said, control F. Here. Actually, from from the records you can pull from other parts of Chikun's laptop, none of these people are people who were at the facility at okay. the time. Um, you actually, like, a lot of the sort of sources you do at least tangentially recognize as you sort of know where that one is. Right. They're, they're imperial facilities of various varieties various kinds um from the sort of relocation in um camps that the empire has to help families affected by the war by just having collecting orphans and yes. um, people like that to um legitimate training things where most of the people are there voluntarily um voluntary internment yes well, voluntarily, we'll send this child to the prestigious Imperial Academy. Oh, yes. Yes. Jeremy knows about that in the Star Wars universe with yeah. the previous character. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, yeah, if it's just that kind of stuff, Corey's not concerned about it. If he oh. wants to steal Imperial resources... She is okay with that. So, mm -hmm. um, they're, in, they're, they're specifically names of people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People are resources. Okay. Um, fair enough. <laughs> I'm sure that's what the shaper thinks too. Yes, exactly. Um, so, yeah, he is, uh, uh, she is going to open up a channel to, to the shaper. Hello, dear. Do you Hi. Hi. How you doing? He'll sort of look at you with those yeah. uh, un eerily blue eyes. Uh huh. All right. Good talk. So, um, you know that information you wanted? I've got it. How much? Well, you weren't specific on how much you wanted, but it looks like a whole lot. It looks like all. What type? Names. What did you find on this project? Well, I have not looked. I have not looked in depth on it because I figured you wouldn't want me to do that. Also. I don't want to die. So, um, what I can tell is, and, and there's still a lot of inf there's still a lot of other information. I have an entire, and she picks up, I have this. I see. Kunk. So, that's like her entire freaking, yeah. So, 
what I can tell you for sure is I have lists of names, locations, etc., 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 and probably a whole lot more. I see. That would do quite well. Cool. I appreciate if you deliver the information in person. Okay. And this then. Is the sort of thing that requires a level of security, I'm sure. You oh, yeah. Understand. I'm not draw. I, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, no, I get it. And then we're cool, right? If you have what you say you have. All right. Well, we are at a place I probably shouldn't tell you where. Um, Isn't that still your responsibility until you finish? We're on a planet. <laughs> It's fine. We're just dropping off some people that we rescued from what's her fucking name? Slave. I see. Thing. Um. Oh, she's dead. By the way. Lightful. Um. So she won't be coming after anything. You know, you're you're good there. Um. We're just dropping some people off, and then. We will head to Crossroads. Lovely. If you can let us know where Crossroads is, obviously, since it moved. I'll send you the coordinates to your ship. Sweet. And about at that time, there's a knock on your door. All right. Good talk, boss. Click. So I go over to the door, open the door. Caravan's here. Cool. Um, I look back to Rel. The only reason I make this offer is simply because there are one individual, someone on the crew, is still chasing to kill. There is someone on the ship that another crew member wants to kill. And in the past, the Empire has been after the ship. But all three of those things do not house a very safe location for you until your daughter is ready for you all to figure things out. At the end of the day, though, it's your decision. I mean, so if you want to stay, it. I'm all for it. I'll stay if you want me. If of course. Want. I know things that I hate that you still don't. No, yeah, of course. I just, I don't, I didn't know if you had somewhere you needed to, I don't know, be or something. I, I, I don't know. Corey, where was I for uh, the That's last... my point! You've been, you haven't had the chance to go anywhere anytime. That's, we're gonna go all sorts of places. So No, no, it's cool. We're good. Um, By the way, uh, to say, um, uh, by the way, um, once we're done dropping up, we need to head back to Crossroads. I need to deliver some information to the, uh, the, that, that we got from, from, what was her name again? Tekin. Tekin. Yeah. The headless one. Yeah. Um, okay. the headless uh, one that was not still alive. I need to uh, clarify that based on our last couple of missions. That's fair. Um, well, then I'll see. Yeah, w I I've got some information. Uh, some information that he wanted from Tekken that will probably clear my debt. Although I would say there is a not not greater than sixty percent, but not less than forty percent chance. That once I deliver this, he might try to kill me. Cause you know, okay. it's a, he 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 is a crime lord. I mean, oh, let's also crime. keep in mind we you don't actually know what crimes he does. No, that makes it worse. 
Well, let's also keep in mind that um, Rerun may not want the trail on Chang Biska to go cold, as we were very close to finding him as well. That's fair. Um, so That's fair. we may have to decide on that. But I mean, see. if we can't, we don't have any way of tracking him at this point, like directly. So yeah. the, our best bet is to go somewhere that is a bed of criminal information. And right now, for so many reasons, I can be on so many reasons in my head that they are all crowding each other, trying to get out my mouth. So they're just going to stay in my head. The normal place that you go for criminal information is not a good idea. So Crossroads seems to be probably the best choice. All right, well, let me see um, Glass, Trish, and Vice off, and um, we'll head that way. Cool. Oh, Glass is going? Okay. Um, uh, uh, wait a minute. That would be bad. <laughs> Why is that? That might be bad. Um, so there's a whole thing, and I don't, I, I legitimately at this point don't remember the specific, but I just, bleh. Yeah. Okay. Glass has, is like 60% clone and a fair amount cyborg. Yes. Specifically, she has a very advanced artificial heart. That that's right. So there's a um there's a thing, and um I sort of yeah um she could die. She would die. She definitely die. Why? Cause um uh there's uh it's really it's really weird and complex to explain. But remember how she's like almost in, like like mostly like cyber like a lot of her internal organs aren't really there anymore or right, like yes. they're weird specialized. So remember how you might not have been there, but remember how no you 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 you, you, you were may there. not have been there for part of it. You may have been there for part of it, but after we uh, um, uh, 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 turned that room into the blood room with mm -hmm. her brother. Um, uh, we, we then talked to her and the, he had this thing that had control over her, 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 her biometrics. Um, is that, at, that's just like physically attack, physically part of me now. Right. It's not like, yeah, you basically put it on a loop so that you wouldn't accidentally deactivate it. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. So if she is. But you hadn't figured out a way to essentially deactivate the part that's part of glass. So if she is far enough away from you, that thing does not work and she dies. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, then I will see Trish and Vice off. Okay. <sighs> Glad you're all back together. And Sai turns and goes back to the uh, was there's the hangar wherever the, the, the door is. Yep. At which point I turn around and like, oh my god, you've gotta meet glass. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Egg proceeds um, to go into a long, like involved detail and and everything like super detailed like yeah. techno babble. Your mother will listen with the look of a parent who is being told about things that they do not understand, but is trying to be supportive. I mean, she's a tech too, but yeah, probably not. This is stuff that you have to see to understand. So yeah. this is also like incredibly advanced, yeah, cutting edge hypothetical tech. True. Aaron, um. Correct so, me if I'm wrong, but uh, you said that when I saw the other Twi'lek that the um, lightsaber seemed to have been, like, taken apart, like the rings were on his belt? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> okay. You know the, the sort of belts that have, like, little intermittent rings along the exterior that are sort of facing this way? Mm-hmm. 
that the belt threads through. It's like that. Okay, so it just if if it if the lightsaber were to be used, it first would have to be put together. Is all I'm trying to clarify. That would be your guess. Okay. Okay. Um, then yeah, so I'll make my way and um, escort. Um, Glass, uh, Vice, and Tasha are waiting at the door. Yeah, so I get there and I look at Glass and go, um, Glass. Uh, Corey has informed me of your situation with her um, and gave me some information I did not previously have, so it actually makes far more sense for you to stay here for uh, obvious reasons. Um, yeah. Uh, you could have said something when we spoke originally, um, but uh, Corey informed yeah. me of everything before I sent you to your death, so... Uh, you are more than welcome to <laughs> go back onto the ship. The 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 oh, the r- rebellion contact listening to this whole thing has to be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a guy with sort of a mask and some very heavy cloaks over him himself that is not necessarily face palming. But very well might be. It's hard to tell with this much bulk. Um, yeah. So um, you guide the other two to the horses. Um, yes. Vice will sort of pat his is along the broken head piece. This is a very nice little. Hmm. And those three will ride off into the sunset with an extra horse. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I'll get back on the ship okay. and uh, go tell Ares to um, take us to the, I guess, the coordinates Corey gave us for Crossroads. Okay. Actually, at that point, Rerun is going to speak up. I need to go looking for Changuska, and you fuckers are going to dilly-dally around and take too much time again. So I'm taking my own fucking ship to go hunt down the fucker I need dead. Who's with me? I, I I mean when I had Hunter seriously uh, considers it. Uh, 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 yeah, but I'm kidding. if if you came with me, you'd have to fucking work for me, and none of you listen to anything I fucking say. Easy there, champ. I that feel like I listen good. quite well. You're very cunt pot. Con- condescending. That was supposed to be condescending right now. <laughs> oh my god, that is you have you have rerun down perfectly. Um Yeah. And rerun will wheel off the ship to go wait for his ship. Because his ship headed to the place he sent him. Powder realizes the only reason that they shouldn't join Rerun is because they are not a combat droid. <laughs> and Rerun doesn't need healing. Yeah, you uh, the, there are still you cannot be, on the ship. You cannot you, you cannot fix the droids. Yep. Yeah, as much as I like Rerun, I never want to work for Rerun, so I will be staying on our ship. All right. And with several NPCs and a player who is unfortunately not able to make this game slot at this time, I'm gone. I think that's where we're going to end it for the night. Alrighty, say goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.